In this video, we'll balance the equation for Pb plus H3PO4. This is lead metal plus phosphoric acid. We'll use a little bit of a trick in this to make it a lot easier. So let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. One lead atom, three hydrogen atoms, and then this PO4, it's called the phosphate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. I have it here, it stays together in the reaction. I have it here as well. I'm just going to count that as one thing. So I have one phosphate ion. Just put a one there. On the product side, I have lead, three of those, two hydrogens, and then phosphates, I have two. So this is a lot neater. It's a lot easier to deal with. Lead is by itself. I'm going to leave that to last. And we have just hydrogen here. It's by itself too. We're going to leave that. So let's balance the phosphates. If we put a two here, now we have one phosphate times the two. So that balances the phosphates. Easy, right? Hydrogens, three times the two. So that'll give us six hydrogen atoms. That's easy to fix because I have two here. Three, two times three, that'll give me six hydrogen atoms. And then the lead, that's by itself. So when I put a three in front of it, one times three, it doesn't change anything else. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So in this equation, this is a single displacement reaction. In single and double displacement reactions, if you have a polyatomic ion, it's the same on both sides. Just count it as one thing. Either way, you get the same answer. This is just a lot faster. And that's kind of important when you're taking an exam. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Pb plus H3PO4. Thanks for watching.